Yo, what's up? Hope you're all well up and safe at home and you're not too bored or I don't know going too crazy in your head Because I am I really am I am so today we are doing food photography Yeah, food food photography. I've been wanting to do some food photography for Quite a long time now, but I have never really taken the initiative because I've always thought that in order to do good food photography you have to have some like crazy dishes and luxury plates that you only see on Instagram from people that travel all over the world. Yeah, um... Recently I saw a video of 7th Hour, Liam, on YouTube and it kind of got me thinking that maybe I might take the initiative and just try it because I think there's lots of things that you can do at home and I think there's even much more than we might think of in the first place. I don't really know what I'm doing, I think I'm just gonna try what I have in the fridge and what I can do with it. Let's just see what we can come up with and let's just get into it. I think it just comes down how you set everything up and sort of how you compose your shot. I think in the end that is what will make or break it. Okay, so I think we've got everything and we have to set it up very quickly right now because it's uh, kind of already getting dark outside and we're losing light because I want to work only with window light. So yeah, let's do this. I'm also using a white sheet to get the white balance. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, that's already much better. I, I prefer that that one. I think it just comes down to, to playing around a little bit with the with the angle and seeing what works and what doesn't work. The one thing that really bothers me is like this window frame. Because that really takes away from the shot, I think. I, I would like it to look a little bit more like a table surface. Maybe we can do something with this. I actually don't like green that much. I, I really don't like green. Top down shot. Okay, I think I want to go on the wider, on the wider lens for a second. Oh sh! That's not clean. <laughs> that is not good at all. Maybe let's do a straight one. Yeah, perfect. I'm not too happy with the images, but I have to say, the cheese is very good though. Now I want to do something a little bit more minimalistic. This is hard guys, it's harder than I thought actually. Okay. I'm finally done. Um, these took me way too long to edit. I'm pretty tired right now so I'm gonna go to bed now and I'm gonna see you in the morning then. Well, in summary yesterday's shoot was a lot harder 
than I thought it would be. And I have to say, I'm not that satisfied with the outcome of the images. But on the other hand, it was the first time that I shot something food related. So I think it was actually quite okay. So let's just have a quick look at these photos. The first one I actually really, really like. The thing that I don't like that much about this photo is how there's a lot of empty um, space in, in the upper left corner. Obviously, uh, it, it has like a radio filter on it, but then I also went in there and brushed out those mint leaves to lift up their exposure and let them pop out a little bit more out of the image. It just pulled the focus more towards the subject of the image. I think that is also something that definitely raised the quality of those photos. The second image is actually the same thing, just in vertical. But I think I actually prefer this one, to be honest, because it doesn't have that much empty space in the corner. Okay, third one. I shot this one on a 16 millimeter. It didn't have a lot of distortion, but it, you could definitely see it, see it. So I just went in there and corrected it. I actually really like this minimalistic look. Um, it, it's not too distracting. You kind of see what is going on immediately. I now realize that it's actually a, a little bit too much on the right hand side. So I think if the fruit had been properly centered in the middle of the frame, um, it would have been a better image. The next one is actually kind of the same thing, but a lot more populated. I wanted to try out different layouts and different compositions. Okay, next one. Again, it's kind of the same thing, just in a diagonal composition. There are these little distractions. That's just something you have to, to be careful of. Okay, on to the last image. And I have to say, I actually really, really like this image. I like the exposure. I like how the subject of the photo is perfectly framed in the middle. There's enough in the image, but there's also not too much in it. But <laughs> the thing I really don't like about this image is that you see the window frame in it. That is for me just something that really takes away from the natural aspect of this image. Uh, I should have just done it outside and I think I would have been a lot happier with the image. Even though all of these images are actually quite decent in my opinion, the problem is just that I was imagining a different thing from the beginning on. I think I definitely want to try this again in the future and see how I can improve over time. Keep in mind guys, you don't really need a lot of stuff. You don't even need to be able to, to cook. Just look what you have in your fridge and try to do something with it. I think in the end, what makes or breaks your image is mostly the composition. Just try to find something very basic and play around with it. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Keep your head up and I'll see you in the next one.